I'm Katie from Occupy Sydney and welcome to this week's World News Wrap-Up. Uh, this is information that I've sourced through mass media and other alternative medias and these are points that I believe are valid to the Occupy movement and issues that perhaps you should investigate a little further. So I'll start with today's main news. Today, um, French Prime Minister President, Prime Minister, President, Sarkozy and Obama uh, were overheard during what was called a private conversation. Uh, Nicolas Sarkozy called uh, Benjamin, Benjamin Netanyahu a liar and Obama responded with, well you think that's bad, I have to deal with him every day. Now a point to raise with this is that the journalists that overheard this discussion actually came to the agreement that they were not going to publish the information because they believed it was private and privileged. However, of course, it got out somehow and uh, this information is now available for you to read. One opinion that I would like to make on this situation is that it's quite possible that Obama and Sarkozy actually meant to have this information overheard so that perhaps they could distance themselves from the escalating crisis that's occurring between Israel and Iran. Only two days ago, Israel was testing missiles uh, with the inclination uh, that they may be used uh, against Iran in Iran's nuclear weapons buildup. So that's that situation. Other news, world leaders news, Afghanistan. We've just recently had an election and unfortunately, post that election, fraud was cited. The opposition leader who, at the moment, I can't remember his name, but he's going up against Karzai, who is the installed president in Afghanistan, put there by the US after their invasion. Unfortunately, the opposition has now withdrawn from the runoff elections, meaning that Afghanistans now have two choices to choose from when going to the elections. They can either vote for Karzai or they can vote for Karzai. Your choice. The Greek Prime Minister, after calling a referendum where potentially the citizens of Greece would be able to vote on the bailout that's currently occurring in Greece, unfortunately he's now been forced to resign. So therefore the Greek people do not get a say on how their country is bailed out thus putting them into the situation. And also, Italian's Prime Minister Berlusconi has now also advised that he will resign. It seems that political leaders around the world are being pushed and shoved in this whole new situation that we call the global economic world. This is Katie from Occupy Sydney with a beautiful evening and the GA going on in the background. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.